everybody, it's Manisha here. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the um, second mandala plate that I've collaborated with um, with Clear Jelly Stamper to create. So um, I'll leave links for the um, the previous plate um, down in the description box and at the end of the video, and also a link for this um, mani that I did using that first plate that I shared with you. So I'll leave a link for that video too if you haven't already seen it. And um, also links for the Clear Jelly Stamper. Um, I'll have the links, direct links for the mandala plates, both of them, and also the 10% discount code that I've got for Clear Jelly Stamper, which is um, just my name, Manisha, um, and that'll give you 10% off all your purchases at clearjellystamper.co, and um, sorry, .com. I'll have the uh, website address written down here as well for you. So this one here is the second plate that um, Debbie and I have created. So I showed you briefly in the last video um, what it looked like. So this is the normal concept with um, clear jelly stamper plates and that they are layering plates. So with this one here, um, Debbie's added these circles and rings and you can use those as um, backgrounds. She's sort of got it written there for you to see. So you can use those as backgrounds and put um, polish um, or stamping polish there and use that to sort of um, highlight part of these mandalas and um, so she split all the mandalas into three different sizes so she's got the outer rings here she's got the middle rings here and then these are all the center rings so they're all the ones that would be right in the center so with these plates here you can use them like this so you can actually have the um, the center like sort of in the middle there with the next two rings coming out from there. Or you can do it that format that you actually have it coming um, along your nail. So just start off with the smallest, work your way out to the largest. And she's also um, packed in so much on these plates. So she's got around the outside edge lots of um, sort of like completed mandala for you to use. So you can just stamp that directly onto your nail like so um, without having to work out which, which ones you want to use in here. So you might like how this one's already been put together. So you can actually go ahead and put your stamping polishes on that, scrape it and then stamp it straight onto your nail um, as so. Or you can do it that way around so you can have it going across the nail too. Um, yeah, so that's she's used every single little bit, um, bit of space here on the um, plates and it's absolutely fantastic because it really does give you good value for money um, and it gives you um, just endless um, options when it comes um, to actually creating your own mandala. So, um, you know, you can just mix and match as you go. So today I'm going to be doing some swatches, um, obviously using this plate. Um, sorry, I'll just move my lamp so I don't glare you all. Um, so I'm just going to be doing some nice colourful ones. So the other um, uh, plate I shared with you, I did um, sort of like chameleon polishes because um, the plates sort of with the complete mandalas reminded me of silk sari. So I sort of did chameleon plates and um, chameleon polishes for those. So today I thought I'd do some nice bright colours um, and just do some real nice bright colourful ones. It just gives you loads of different options on how you can use these. Um, you're not really limited um, by certain colours or um, themes or anything like that. You can just mix and match and do it to suit you. You can use glitters, um, neons as I've got here, blacks, whites, you know, whatever you want to. So um, sit back and relax. I'm going to speed up the next part of the video so it's not too long for you. And I'll just go ahead and start swatching these and um, share with you right at the end. I'll show some stills and we'll talk about what we've um, created here today. Thanks. Bye.
I'm back with the um, final swatches. So um, really, really colourful. I'm just so pleased with how they've all turned out. It is really hard to choose a favourite. I love them all. Um, it just goes to show the versatility of that plate. Um, there's so many different designs I've done here and obviously there's loads more that you can do. A um, couple of ones that stood out to me, um, I really like how this one turned out. I just like the simplicity of it but um, the colours sort of really worked well together. So I really like that one. Um, I liked this one as well. Um, because it at the end of the day it doesn't even really look like a mandala it looks like it's just got really cute flowers on it and I've sort of just carried on the um, flowers on the outer edges to make it look like it's a you know covering the whole nail so to speak um, I liked that one because I like the colors and um, how well I mean like if I show you a close up and I'll have um, pictures of these right at the end as well for you um, and you can always pop onto my Instagram page because there'll be um, better pictures on there too but I mean, look at how well it's picked up all those really fine lines. Um, so these ones here, I've actually used the, the circles that we had at the top of the plate first. And then I've stamped on top of it. So yeah, really, really love it. This is another one that I really liked. Um, nice, simple one again. I mean, you could have lots of fun with that and do that on, you know, a few accent nails. And I think it looked, you know, it's, it's a bit of fun. Um, this one because I did it off um, off centre so I've sort of gone to the two outer corners and sort of brought the circles out that way and I liked how the colours worked well together so yeah all in all I'm just really pleased with how it's turned out so um, if you have any comments or questions definitely leave them down in the um, comment section down below I really do love to hear from you and um, I'll attempt to list all the polishes that I've used um, here for the bases and the um, the stamping. Um, I sort of got a bit carried away when I was stamping with them. And I've got an absolute, I'll show you quickly. I've got like a ton of polishes out now. I'm trying to remember which ones I've actually used and which ones I haven't. So I'll, you know, leave a list of everything down um, below for you to um, have a look through. But yeah, definitely if you have any questions, um, leave them down in the comment section. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. It's free to do so. And, um, you know, and, and turn on notifications if you like. Then you know whenever I've posted new videos. Um, and I'll leave any links to the other videos um relating to the other plate which is the one I've done this um, mandala design from so um, just in case you've missed out on anything seeing those I'll leave all the links and um, discount codes down in the um, description box as well for you and apart from that thanks for popping by and watching the video bye for now